Welcome to this Tutor to You Sociology topic video on demographic trends in the UK, examining the ageing population. Sociologists have become concerned with the ageing population in the UK in recent years. But what is the ageing population and what are the impacts on society of an ageing population? The ageing population refers to the increase in the average age of the UK citizen, which currently sits at 40 years of age. In 1998, around 1 in 6 people were over the age of 65, which meant that around 86% of the population was either of working age or would grow to be of working age, meaning there were enough people working to support those that weren't. This is what's called the dependency ratio. However, in recent years, this has changed. In 2018, this has increased to around 1 in 5 people over the age of 65 and over the next 20 years this is projected to reach one in four people. In comparison the number of people in the UK under the age of 16 and therefore also dependent upon people of working age has declined. Around one in five were under the age of 16 in 1998 but this has declined to 19% in 2018 and is projected to fall even further over the next 20 years. This has impacts on the structure of British society. Geographically, towns and cities are more likely to have younger people living in them, with the older population making up a higher proportion of those living in rural and coastal areas. And this demonstrates the divide in the UK population and can have impacts on political views, house prices and the services in those areas. So why does the UK have an ageing population? Well, there are a number of reasons for this, but quite simply, people are living longer and less people are being born. The decreased fertility rate in the UK, coupled with increased life expectancy, has shifted the average age of the UK citizen. And this has led to the Office for National Statistics declaring that over 65s is the fastest growing age group in the UK, which is leading to a shift in the demographics of the UK. We've seen in previous videos the reasons for declining fertility rate and the correlation between fertility decreasing and the increased employment of women. This often means that women are more likely to have children later in life and consequently have less of them as they focus on gaining qualifications and pursuing a career. Another factor we have examined for the decrease in fertility rate is the increased expense of children and so people are choosing to have less. This means that with the average fertility rate in the UK being 1.7, this means that if two people have children, there are not enough children replacing those who are having them in society which ultimately will lead to a decrease in the population. With people having children later in life than in previous generations, this means the window for fertility is smaller. A woman who has her first child at 20 may have another 25 years to have children, whereas someone who waits until their mid-30s has perhaps 10 years to have children. And therefore, people are less likely to have more than two children. Increased life expectancy is another reason for the ageing population, as we've seen in our previous video on death rates and life expectancy. Greater advances in medical technology mean that illness and disease can be identified earlier and treated in a less invasive manner. People have adopted healthier lifestyles and diets and generally look after themselves better than in previous generations, which has led to longer lifespans. There are also less dangerous occupations, with traditional male jobs such as mining and heavy manufacturing, which had physical demands, now making up less than 1% of the UK labour force. People have a better understanding of the impacts of their lifestyle on their health, and will make changes accordingly. Public health programmes and the role of the media in alerting people to potential ill health has become vital in improving the health of UK citizens. With people living longer and less children being born, this has impacts on the way in which society operates. An ageing population places greater strain on health and social care services according to Key. This can be evidenced through proposals of the Conservative government to make people pay for their old age care that they receive through selling their homes, what is often referred to as the dementia tax. This was abandoned as a manifesto pledge in 2017 due to its unpopularity. Other impacts are changes to the age in which people can claim state pension. Originally it was 60 for women and 65 for males, but changes during the Pension Acts of 2007 and 2014 have seen that increase to 67, with further increases planned. Economically, there has been a growth in what has been termed the grey market, with a decline of pension poverty and relative affluence of some pensioners, 
old age has been seen as a new period of consumption, with over 50s markets offering trips, events and other opportunities for people to spend their disposable income. Further impacts of the ageing population include a greater awareness of issues relating to old age. National campaigns against loneliness and isolation have highlighted that for some older people, the loss of family and friends can be a traumatic period of life. While the increase in degenerative diseases has seen increased funding into issues such as Alzheimer's, dementia and prostate cancer. A further impact of the ageing population has been the availability of housing. Many elderly people will continue to live in the home that they raise their children in and will have excess space in their old age. This stops the flow of larger properties coming onto the market for younger expanding families and leads to a rise in the prices of those that are available. The ageing population also has political implications, with those over the age of 65 having a larger say politically as they represent a large section of the population. This can generate some issues as older people tend to be more conservative in their views and less likely to vote for structural changes to society. A final impact of the ageing population is the closer relationships between grandparents and their grandchildren, with many grandparents providing support looking after children. There has also been a growth in beanpole families, with elder family members moving in with their children so they can provide both care and financial support. The ageing population provides politicians with a problem that needs to be solved in terms of the dependency ratio. In coming years, the dependency ratio will shift so that there are less people of working age than people who are classed as dependent on either state or family support. One way of tackling this is through migration. Younger workers and their families are more likely to migrate and this influx of younger people will provide a boost to the number of people of working age. Another way in which the ageing population may alter is through the ageing and death of the baby boomer generation. Those born in the post-war period, often described as the baby boom, will eventually pass on and given the larger percentage of the population that they occupy, this larger number of deaths will reduce the population somewhat. Another possible impact on the ageing population will be the slight rise in fertility and births that occurred in the early part of this century, although this has declined in recent years. In order to solve the issue of an ageing population, Society needs more young people, which will bring the average age down. That concludes this Tutor to You Sociology topic video looking at demography and focusing on the ageing population. Thanks for watching.